Welcome to this quick guide to getting started with EBSCO Discovery Service. First of all, go to Moodle, Library and IT, and then the drop down menu Athens e journals and ebooks. Go to the Glyndua University login page and type in your Moodle and network username and password. You'll get the list of resources available through Athens. Go to EBSCO host here and at the bottom here EBSCO discovery service. It's always best to go for the advanced search option. It allows you to put your key terms in uh, which you should think about before you start any search online. That should include key terms of things you're looking for, geography, you're looking for England, Wales, across the world, uh, how far back do you want to search and so forth. I'm just going to do a short search now on forensic science and crime scenes. So I'm going to put in forensic and you can see a list of words comes up here so I select forensic. I'm going to put an asterisk after that because that broadens the search out and looks for forensic and forensics. You can do this with any word to truncate it. And in the second box I'm going to put in crime scenes or crime scene. Crime scene investigation comes up so we'll try that. You can see that as I've gone along the results come up. First results are books available on our library catalogue at Glyndur. So these are books available in the library. You will also get some of our ebooks and so forth. But for the sake of searching for journal, full text journal articles, it's always a good idea to go here and click full text. And you can see this has reduced the results to 4,650. And this is a, a range of full text items available to you. For instance, this one, Digital Forensics, comes from Science Direct you can click on that and it takes you directly to the article from Science Direct. You see you have access to the full text PDF. If I go back to the list you can also see some items will link through from different databases so you haven't had to think about which online paid for resource you've been going to so it's a really good way to get started with items for your literature review. So you've done a search on EBSCO discovery service this is how to deal with some of the results. I've done a search here for forensic and crime scene investigation and I've also limited it to full text here. This has brought 4650 results. Now we can make this a shorter list by changing the date so say so you may only want the last 10 years. So if we put in 2004 and if we go back to the top you can do a search and you can see we now have 3,129 results. If you want to refine it a little bit more we could look for the UK and it's always a good idea to do UK or United Kingdom. If you do one or the other you will miss some results. Similarly with Wales and Welsh uh, etc. This has now taken it down to 1,128 items you can link to the items by clicking under the uh, relevant one here for instance it comes from something called Science Direct and that brings up the full text article and you can click on the PDF uh, to see the full item. In some cases depending on the database you will see that you can go straight to the PDF item. So when you've done your search you can look at more details if I click on this first one say I'm not sure from the title whether it's what I want you can look at the abstract and that looks good to me so if we go back to the uh, list of items here result list and you can go through each item 
uh, or you can refine your search even further if you wish. A handy tip is that for each item that you maybe want to look at there's a blue folder by each one. If you click on that we'll select some here like so and this puts uh, the items you've selected into a temporary folder here. Now if you log out at this point you'll lose all of that. Um, the reason for putting it in the temporary folder is if I click on it you have the items you're interested in in there and you can print this list of references, email them to yourself and you can export to bibliographic software such as RefWorks. If you get distracted or need to go away and come back you can sign in here and create your own personal account so next time you come back to EBSCO Discovery Service these items will be saved within it. So that's quite handy to keep track of what you're looking for. So that's it really. The main thing to remember is to have a good list of key terms before you start and to try different terms. Start very generally and then break it down adding words to narrow the search. I hope you find that helpful.